And then a woman walking her dog at Fort Harrison State Park this morning found a dead body. And tonight, police are trying to determine how it got there. In fact, it all took place near Boy Scout Road on the city's east side in Lawrence. Our crime beat reporter Steve Jefferson first broke this story today on Twitter as well as on Facebook. And he was first on the scene today. Let's go to Steve live for the very latest. Steve, what can you tell us? Yeah, investigators left this scene about an hour ago. That woman walking her dog says her dog pulled her into this wooded area you see behind me, and that's where they made the shocking discovery. I'm shocked. Rick Rio rides his bike through Fort Harrison State Park at least twice a week. But Wednesday afternoon turned out to be a lot different with police, crime lab, and conservation officers in the park investigating a dead body. This is just a family, family park. People walking dogs, kids, kids being pushed in strollers. It's just a family park family facility. Just before noon Wednesday, a woman walking her dog says the dog suddenly started pulling her into a wooded area. That's where she came across the body of a white female and called 911. If, if any citizens uh, in this area over the last day or so has seen a vehicle stopped on the side of the road here, um, if they can call uh, their local police department, give that description of that vehicle, that would definitely be helpful. Lawrence police officers along with DNR officers check the wooded areas along Boy Scout Road for possible evidence. Eventually, crime lab workers showed up to process the scene where the body was found. The discovery got the attention of Marion County Deputy Prosecutor Denise Robinson, updated on the investigation at the scene by DNR officers. Biker James Bell is a regular at the state park and feels sorry for the family of the person found dead. Well, I'm very sorry. Okay. I think maybe I need to say a prayer for our safety and for her family. Investigators hope to learn from an autopsy how she died and more importantly, who's responsible for her death. Yeah, right now, the most important part of this investigation is DNR officers want to hear from anyone who may have seen or heard anything uh, strange here at the state park. In the last couple of days, if you can help, you can call Crime Stoppers. That telephone number is 262-TIPS. Live at Fort Harrison State Park, Steve Jefferson, Channel 13 Eyewitness News.